Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Got a very interesting question today, and I had to struggle a little bit with it to answer it, but I think it's actually very simple. This is the question, and it comes from Kyle H. Okay, and he does not give his call sign. He says, I run QRP 99% of the time. I have a myriad of antennas that range from commercially made to homemade, and I have ununs and coils. I've begun to wonder how to test ununs and coils with a VNA to determine how much loss each antenna match has. I commonly run 9 to 1, 49 to 1, and Wolf River coils. How could I use a VNA to determine how much loss each has in order to maximize my choice of antenna? Well, let's take a look at that. Here is a ballon that I just ran across the other day. This is made by Ballon Designs. Okay, www.ballon designs, note that's plural. And this happens to be a four to one ballon, handle up to five kilowatts. So it's really potent. Okay, now I've got my vector network analyzer right here. You can see it come on. Now this is attached to the input of the ballon, the output of the ballon, since this is a 4 to 1 ballon, and that's the impedance ratio. This is 50, so this has to be 200. If you look really closely here, you can see 200 ohm resistors in series, which is 200 ohms. So this should be a perfect balance for this ballon. Let's look at that and see if that is the case. When we look over here at the screen using Nano VNA Saver, a very nice piece of software to go with that. This is Visuar right here, and we go from the 80, 60, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10 meter bands over here. The ballon, as we would expect, gives you a match to a matched load that's under two to one across the entire HF band. Note where it is best. It is best here around 20 meters, here seven meters. Now, here's where the good part comes in, okay. This chart measures return loss. Now, this chart and this chart look a lot alike because you can calculate Visuar from return loss. So this is a signal that's put out by the VNA and hits that resistor and then it is bounced back. Okay, so it actually goes through the ballon twice. Now, this, because of the negative numbers here, this could be called return gain because it's minus, okay. So if you're down here in the best part, your signal is attenuated right in here by about 21 plus a little bit dB. Now, some of that goes into the resistor, okay. The rest of it is uh, slightly mismatched losses from the resistors not being perfect, but the rest is the actual loss in the coil. The loss at minus 21 dB, all that's lost is minus 21 dB of the signal. So you take the signal and do the math with it. This is a very low loss right in here. These are higher losses, but they're still less than a tenth. Remember, a minus 10 dB loss is one tenth of the signal. As you go down here, there's less and less and less loss. And if there were no loss, this thing would be a flat line across the bottom, and this would be a flat line at 1.0. Now, is this ballon acceptable for use? Absolutely. Again, you'd be losing 10% of the signal if it were up here. But if you take another 10 to 20, that goes to 100th of the signal. So this is the 1% loss line, okay? Now, if you go out here, you're at about less than 1% loss. And that's, remember, a two-way trip 
through to Balin, out and back. It gives you your return loss, which calculates directly into SWR. So this is an excellent Balin. Now you can do that same thing. Again, let's look at the setup. We've got an antenna analyzer set for VSWR, just SWR. Going into this with 200 ohms on the output because this is a 4 to 1 balance. 4 times 50 is 200. So you should see no loss at this point. No signal returned because it should all be going in there. In fact, a very small signal is being returned. And so from that, you can say that you're losing less than 1% of your power across that balance, an excellent balance, okay? And you can use this technique with other balance and things like that. So I'm gonna learn more about the VNA and see if I can show you some other things that we can do with that, like measure inductance and capacitance and so on. So there you have it. We've taken a look at a balance we terminated it in the appropriate load impedance, checked the visoir and the return loss, and it's doing fine. So, until we next meet, 73.